G'day. Today we're going to Simon Marnie's to harvest honey from his hive. We're also going to split the hive and it's going to be tricky. It hasn't been done for a number of years. I'm pretty sure the bees have resined their inner hive. It's going to be difficult work, but it's going to be very satisfying and we're going to get a lot of honey. Not only are we going to split the hive, harvest the honey, we're also going to gather the wax to give to some Aboriginal ditch players. Tetragonula, they are the resin queens of the insect world. Anytime they can to protect their hive, they're putting resin all around it. So in fact, an invader to the hive actually gets resin to death. So because there's a gap between that wooden shell and the hive inside, they don't like that gap. So they've actually started resining it up. It's good and bad, it's good for the hive, but it's bad for us because we want to get that wooden hive from underneath that cover. So should I get my drill ready to go in case we do have to disassemble and that uh, way can... Yeah. yeah, just in case. Okay, good, yes. Yeah. Ah, perfect. We've got the resin along here. I've got to separate this hive from this wall. Oh God, we've got it right up against that wall. We're going to have to unscrew it. If I can just take off this wall here, yeah. that would be perfect. See if I can use a hammer and just hit it that way. I'll use the, uh, the steel one. Well, this is as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> so we're going to take off the honey collector to see what we can see. There's three boxes. The top box, which we've just removed, is the honey collector. I don't want any insects to be able to get into the hive, so I just want to cover this up. They're getting attacked. <laughs> okay, so now the fun part of the day, honey harvest. Now, you sort of know the drill, and I think we can teach Nigel in a couple of seconds. So what we're going to do is prick these honey pots and then turn it upside down ah, in the basket. Ah, okay. Yeah, so right down to the it. bottom. Okay, once you feel you've done a really good job, we just lift it up and turn it upside down into the... This is what they call the first flush. We'll be doing a second flush, don't worry. Okay. Good luck. So that's the first flush. Need to measure. Now if you put a lid on so nothing can get in it, yeah, we're going to take the whole thing out. Oh, we haven't done this before. No, because you said you wanted out for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy. This is good to know. <laughs> the resin is going to a Sydney Aboriginal community who's going to use the wax and the resin to uh, make mouthpieces for a didgeridoo. Right. Which is much better than using European honey because the Europeans sort of stuffed it up in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to have a go, Simon? Yeah. You should see there is just so much honey. Yes, the second flush. So, so that's the one you, you give to the people who are really interested but you don't really care that much about. <laughs> Only kidding. <laughs> Look at all the uh, pollen, Nigel, and that is actually what many of the elders believe is very healing oh, yes. and good is for you is right. this. The pollen. The pollen. Okay, now the next nightmare. So I'm just going to let this drain out for a little while. Now what I'm looking for is some queen cell. I'm just going to take a couple of these. So how do you know a queen? Queen cells are bigger. I'm not absolutely sure I can see any. Okay, so now where's that box that I had? This one? Yep, we're just going to put that one on. So this is the middle part of the hive. And this is what stops the queen from coming through. I'm just going to put the top part of the hive on here and we're just... Good. The hive has been reassembled. So then this, sit on it like this. Put some glue and then we're going to tape it. We're just going to put this on top of this because it doesn't have a bottom. This was the middle. So at the moment the bees can't get in or out. So that's a problem. Good. This is really just to hold it in place. This goes in here and we'll just seal that up. I'll give you a top hole. It helps the bees with insulation. Like that. Now this one, you can actually see it's got a viewing. Because that's your middle one. Yeah. 
So eventually the honey will be in here? No, in this in one. In this one. The top one. Okay. See that perspex? That stops yep. the eggs That's going up. Right. So okay. then the queen, okay. the queen is stuck there. But they won't mind you having a bit of a peek? No. Then. Yeah. no. Uh, make sure you seal it every time. Okay, so here's your hive. No, I don't think we'll split for another three, four or five years. Yeah, you probably no. won't. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was tricky. You get confronted with something that you, you'll never see again. You don't know how to do it, but just be methodical, go through it. Basically, you just got to get access to that inner hive. Just take it step by step. Uh, see you next time. <laughs>